hello guys welcome to my python programming course before we start the actual course i thought it was to make this quick intro to explain um, the course content and the overall aim of this particular course and so the course is targeted at biologists and people who are interested in switching to a biology field such as molecular biology bioinformatics etc and also this course will also be of great benefit to beginner and a mid-level programmers as well. Uh, for the course content, I will be looking at um, basic Python syntax and you will also look at data types and how we can use them to represent biological data types such as the DNA sequence, RNA sequence and codons. And then using those two informations, we are going to simulate biological activities and by that I mean writing Python codes that will represent um, processes such as transcription, translation and mutation. And then finally, we are also going to look at GUI programming where I will write sample codes to design um, graphical interfaces and then at the end of the day, we will be able to build a custom app that can analyze DNA sequences using Python. Uh, for the prerequisites, what you need before following this tutorial is um, to install Python software. Python 3 is recommended. And also you need to have your code editor. So idle Jupyter Notebook, these are examples of code editors you can use. And then for the Python packages, um, we need to install BioPython and Tkinter. These are the two libraries that we'll be using as part of the course. Now, it's important to also know that during code executions, there are two modes. So you could always go for an um, interactive mode where whatever command you give, um, result is quickly displayed. And then you could also go for the batch mode where you write all your codes in a text editor or code editor and then you run that particular command all at once. Okay. It's also necessary for you to know the basic syntax of Python. This is a quick um, glance course. You'll be using this a lot. So whenever you have a hash symbol beginning a particular line, then that line will not be considered as a code. Instead, it will be considered as a comment. And so usually we use this hash sign to give short documents or descriptions of particular lines of code. The print statement also displays values on the screen. Okay, we are going to use this particular um, statement of, uh, a lot. And so if you have a value or a variable then to display it you just issue the print statement and then it will display it. This usually works um, in the batch mode. For interactive mode you just need to enter the value and usually the results will be displayed without the, using the print function. And then if you are assigning values to variables we use the equal sign. Okay we shall look into that in the later sessions. So the equal sign and then you have your variable name and you also have the value. Okay, so that's the assignment. So for example, if you want to assign the value of 2 to x, then this is how you do it in Python. Okay, so wherever you see x, then the actual value is going to be 2. So with this quick intro, I would like to say welcome to the course. And I'll see you in the next session.